Chris from UK Tool Reviews uh, here with another video. Uh, this is the, our part 11 uh, of our home automation series. Um, today we're going to set up the Wemo to work with Alexa, um, the Amazon Echo uh, unit. Now, not sure how it's going to go. I'm hoping it's going to be really easy, but um, we'll see. Right, um, what I've done is one of the Wemo switches um, I use for the uh, the iron. Now, um, I don't know if you can just see behind me there. Um, over here, you've got a, a nice unit. Um, we leave the ironing board set up like this all the time. So, without the Wemo switch, I have to lean over, lean right down to the plug socket, switch it on every time, do the ironing, lean over and switch it off. And I've got a bad back, so uh, I needed something that could save me from doing that. So um, what I decided to do is get a Wemo switch installed there, um, and that stops me having to lean over and doing it. Plus I can put the safeguards in. Um, you can put programs uh, into your, uh, or schedules and things into your Wemo uh, switches. Um, and one of them I've got auto off after five minutes. So you do your ironing, if you forget to switch it off via Wemo or via Alexa, I suppose, then it should switch itself off after five minutes. Um, and this is quite a clever iron itself, and it does switch itself off after, I think, after 15 or 10. Um, but I think five minutes, brilliant. You know, if it can switch off after five, if you're still using it, you can just say, hey, Alexa, turn the iron back on, and it's sorted. But, um, Let's uh, let, let's see how it goes. Um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get the girlfriend to shout downstairs at Alexa and uh, see if she can switch it on from there. But um, I'm going to use my uh, iPhone. Got um, an iPhone 6S and we're going to attempt to switch it on and off with this. So, right, let's have a look at the, uh, the screen. Right. Now there's the Wemo app. There you go. And we've got pictures of all the things. So we've got laptop charger that's on. The iron is off at the minute. And the extension lead downstairs. Right. So let's just test it. Um, if you keep a, 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 an eye on the uh, iron there. So we'll turn it on. There you go. And the lights come on. Turn it off. And the lights off. So that's us using the Wemo app. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shout downstairs to Becky and um, ask her to tell um, Alexa to switch it on. Let's zoom in so we can uh, see. Right. What I'm hoping first and foremost is that it's it's already on there because what we've what we did um, I'll just uh, I'll just show you on this first. Um, right, if you go to settings at the top. This is the uh, Alexa app, um, and you look to Smart Home. So you click on the Smart Home. Uh, got some groups that I made up today, um, which I'll I'll go over that again sometime later. Right, it says devices, and it says discover devices. Now, when I set up the Hive, it had to discover devices, and it came up with all the um, it came up with all the Wemo switches automatically. So I don't think I need to actually set a new skill or anything like that. I think basically all you do is you do the search. It's found them. And you see they're, they're listed there, laptop charger, iron, essentially. Now I think, as I've set the hive up already, that it's already on there. But if they weren't on there, what I would have done was press discover devices and see what happened and see if they come up on your, on your list. But you see there, I've got, I think, 10 in my list. And then the last one is the hive thermostat. And then the, uh, the, the ninth, eighth, and seventh... Uh, the uh, the switches. So I've only got three in the house at the minute, um, but let's uh, let, let's see how it goes. So 
I'm hoping it may already be set up because it's in the device devices there. So uh, let's shout down and then get back in to do it. Right. Just to prove I'm not doing it, there's my phone. Right, go on, Becky. Turn it on. There you go. And off. There you go, and off again. And turn it on again. Yeah, and on again. And then turn it off. There you go. So now we've seen that the Alexa can turn your Wemo switches on and off. All right. Um, so I think that was the best way to illustrate it was uh, showing you. Uh, that I'm up here, she's down there, and she's giving the Alexa unit the instructions. Um, you may have heard her in the in the microphone. I don't know how sensitive it is. It might have picked her up. You might have heard her saying, "Alexa, turn the iron on, turn the iron off, and all that sort of stuff." But um, it's just unfortunate the uh, the dots aren't out until the 20th of October. Um, but when they are out, I've got three ordered. Uh, we're going to install one in the spare room in here. Uh, one in the main bedroom next door and then one in the kitchen downstairs and that's most of the the main areas covered I, I definitely won't be sticking one in the kids bedroom <laughs> that's for certain um, and then uh, I've got a couple of videos next week um, the release date is the 4th uh, that's for the Philips Hue GU10s now they have got GU10s out at the minute but they're the multicoloured ones but I don't want them I just want plain white so the ambient white ones are coming out on uh, the 4th and at the same time the motion detectors so um, I think I'm going to have some fun with the motion detectors because uh, I'm going to try and set them up for you know like a like a greeting when you, when you get in the house the detector detects you and switches all the downstairs lights on for you or, or something like that um, so you know if it's dark you don't have to fumble around for the switches you just come through the door there it is your lights are on um, Philips Hue with uh, Save a Day and hopefully link all that through to Alexa as well um, somehow and um, see how we can use them because I'm pretty certain you could use them as sort of like a burglar alarm or some sort of uh, announcement that someone's just arrived or gone past it you know so um, we'll we sit, see how we go see when we get them um, we'll have a look and see what the instructions say and uh, have a look at the box um, but until then uh, this is just a, a quick video now I'm so glad it's just very very basic uh, there wasn't much to do really um, but this is because I've already set up some of the items in the house now if you hadn't um, set up anything then I'm assuming you would have had to have gone to the uh, Alexa app um, press the uh, top left button uh, go into smart home and then you'd have to go um, discover devices so if you've got any Wemo switches discover de devices as long as they're on remember that everything needs to be on like uh, that if you're trying to discover the uh, Philips Hue lights they need to all be on um, to power the actual the Wi-Fi in the bulb itself um, so obviously the same with the plugs the plugs got uh, Wi-Fi all in it as well all integrated into it so the plug socket needs to be on so it'll detect the, the signals to tell it to go on and off and all that sort of stuff so um, so basically if you do um, want to set up your uh, any of your these sort of smart systems uh, you need to you need to remember that you've got to switch these things on um, especially if you're having trouble you think well, why isn't it detecting it just go and make sure if it's on you know and make sure there's power to the to the uh, the light bulb or to the socket itself um, you may even find it's tripped out if you're not doing it if you're not getting anything or or you've just simply not switched it on by the switch so that's it for today 
Um, if there's anything that uh, you've seen on these videos that you want to uh, to buy, and um, join me on my little jo my automation journey. Um, if you just have a look in the description uh, below, you press the show more button. Um, down there, I've listed all the items that I've bought for my uh, automated house, and I'll be adding more and more as I go along. Um, that's everything I've ordered and there's links next to it and the prices and the prices are on Amazon at the time they may be cheaper they may be more expensive now but that's everything that I've bought um, so you can basically if you want to copy me you can you're the black cat me you can do so I don't care um, but that's everything that I've bought if you find anything cheaper um, just write in the comments below there uh, just let me know or if there's a cheaper way to buy it like I found um, the cheaper way to get your hue system was to buy the uh, the screwing bulbs and then just get some converter kits and you saved I think I saved about um, about 80 quid by doing it that way rather than just getting the bayonet bulbs starter kit and that was like 150 quid so uh, I saved a lot of money there um, anything like that you can think of um, go ahead make a comment and uh, Hope everyone else saves some money and get automated. Right, this is me signing off. See you next week uh, for another exciting instalment of uh, our home automation series. Laters. Mm -hmm.